What's happening? Last video of the year. It's the end of 2020. Horrendous year for most people. But I've had a bit of a revelation. I've had this Pro 2 behind me for a very long time now. Maybe five years, four or five years I've had it. And still not really scratched the surface until now. So we'll just go back a bit and I'll just sort of uh, establish the story. For about a year and a half or so, I've been wanting to get into modular synthesis. I bought the uh, Life Forms by Pittsburgh Modular, the SV1, little black box, semi-modular voice thing. Uh, loved it, really liked it, but always wanted to expand on it and get more modules, so more VCAs, more LFOs, more utilities, pretty much. Just because one, I like the look of modular synthesis. I like the look of modular systems. They look awesome. But it's a lot of money. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you probably know I'm a cheap bastard. I don't want to spend money on anything. I've got a kid, for instance, and I need to live. So if it's not necessary, I have a really hard time spending money on it. Anyway, uh, been on Modular Grid, looking at all different types of um, modules and different setups and looking for another 48 HP case that I can put different modules in. Um, the main things I was looking for really was a sequencer, some kind of randomizer, uh, like a Turing machine or something like that, um, but a sequencer, a quantizer to make sure that it's, everything's going to be in key. I was looking for more LFOs uh, and more envelopes. So I wanted two more envelopes, uh, ADSRs. They needed to be really sort of proper ones, not just AR or AD, proper ADSR envelopes. Uh, another couple of LFOs because the LFO that's on the life forms is, it's okay. I mean, it's okay, but if you want to change any kind of varied amount, you need to override the VCA that's built into it, which I don't like doing because I like that just to run it through as the like the volume of it. It's only got one envelope on it, which means that the filter and the amplitude share an envelope. I just wanted extra modules. I spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds in theory on modular grid, coming up to around about 1,900 quid on extra modules and a case and this and that and that other crap that wasn't necessary, it just looked awesome. But then I thought, see if I can get away with doing this idea of building this thing with what I have already. Didn't get very far with just the life forms. It's great, but it's limited. Like, like I say, it's one envelope, it's got one LFO. It's got like a digital LFO that I can clock from the computer and stuff like that and the MPC, which is cool, but still there's no amount for it. There's no vary or slew or anything like that. Pro 2. So the Pro 2 has got CV outs on it, right? It's got CV in, I'm not bothered about that. It's got CV outs. It's got four CV outs and a gate output. The CV outputs, can pretty much go anywhere you want that like you can send anything out of cv from the pro 2 the pro 2 like as you didn't know has one of the most comprehensive modulation matrices of any synth ever and i didn't know that when i bought it that's just one of those happy things it's one of those synths that after i bought it i realized how lucky i was that i actually bought it because there hasn't really been a synth that's come out since that in that price range that looks that awesome and sounds like that with the features that it has. But anyway, it's got four CV outs and all of those CV outs can pretty much send anything. It can send oscillators, it can send the envelopes. It's got two extra envelopes. It's got uh, envelope four and five extra auxiliary envelopes. It's got four LFOs. It's got a sequencer on it, 16 track sequencer with clock divisions, arpeggiators. It can play forward, backwards, forward and backwards. It can play in random and everything can be sent out from CV. So what am I doing spending, theoretically, hundreds and hundreds of pounds on things that I've got right there with control over? I tried to sort it out, uh, and this is the result. So here we are. The Pro 2 by Dave Smith Instruments and the Life Forms by Pittsburgh Modular. As mentioned in the intro, the Life Forms was a very big purchase for me. I liked the convenience of it. However, it is still very limited. We have one ADSR envelope, which controls both the amplitude and the filter. We have one VCA, uh, which overridden just gets it taken out of the audio path. We have one LFO, um, which is okay. I mean, it's fine. It's a nice LFO with two waves, a triangle and a square. However, it doesn't really give you, there's no amplitude, there's no like amount or slew or anything like that. Uh, so the modules I was looking for were a sequencer, a um, randomizer, um, more LFOs, more envelopes, more VCAs, basically, just to go along with this and just take this to a whole new level. Um, you can see at the minute that I've got a few things plugged in. Now, these are the outputs CV outputs from uh, the Pro 2 just over here. Uh, and now I'm going to set that all up. So basically what I've got is a gate output here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. 
um, cables because there's five things. You get a gate and you get four CV outputs. So we've got the gate here, we've got CV1, 2, 3 and 4. CV1 and 2 I've got set to go into the voltage per octaves for the oscillators. Uh, CV3 I've got sent to go to the first malt on the life forms and CV4 to go into the second malt meaning that whatever I have in CV coming out of three and four, I can send to two separate destinations within um, the life forms over here. So, right, let's get started. Let's get all this set up. So if I go to the uh, modulation matrix or the assigned source, the mod sources and stuff, uh, over here, it's insane. The amount of things that you can do in here, um, you've got sort of the standard ones, mod one through to four, uh, are taken up with just like the basics. You've got a couple of little sliders here that are already made uh, to go to filters and so on. But then you've got so many other slots under here that you can pretty much do anything with. Now I'm going to take advantage of these fixed modulations. So here you've got various sources. So you've got things like LFOs, uh, filter envelopes, you've got the um, amplitude envelope, but you've also got the auxiliary envelopes, auxiliary envelope four and five. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of, first of all, over here in the mod matrix at the top, uh, I'm going to go to something called note number. Now what this is, is uh, your voltage per octave. Okay, uh, I'm going to have this set to go out of Got all these possible places, man. It's crazy. Uh, external CV out one. The next one, I'm going to do note number again. But then on this one, I'm going to have this coming out of CV2. Again, let's find it. CV2. I'm going to set these. What I found, right, is without having to change any DC offset or anything weird and stuff that I was looking at on forums that was mad complicated. Um, basically, if I set this to 126 out of 127, it holds pitch. Ready? <laughs> That's playing that, that's playing the light. It's not playing this. There's nothing coming out of the Pro 2 at the minute. Um, it's literally just sending gate and voltage per octave CV out to the life forms. So let me open up the filter here. Let's turn down the amount. Basic sine wave coming out. So we've got none of the other oscillators on. Basic sine wave. Let's open up the envelope for the release. So that's just playing the solid sine wave out of the life forms there. So instantly we've got some noises coming in. Next thing we can do is set up these two. So these two are CV out three and four. So remember three and four, um, I wanted to set up not in the modulations here, but in the fixed mods. Basically what this means is if I have this on the modulation source at the top, if I want to change amounts of them, it's not going to adhere to it. I'd have to change the amount within the modulation matrix, but I don't want to have to do, I want to be able to do it from the parameter itself, whether it's an LFO or an envelope or an oscillator or anything. There's so many things that you can send out from CV. Um, so what I'm going to do is come down to the fixed mods. So fixed mod down here, I can see LFO3 uh, is set to nothing. I'm going to put this up to 100% just for the moment. And I'm going to put this coming out of external CV out three. I'm going to go down to envelope four, which is here, one of our auxiliary envelopes. 127 again, so full amount. And we're going to have this coming out four. So basically, LFO three, whatever I have that set to on the Pro three is in the Pro two. Sorry, is going to come out CV, inputted into the life forms, and then it's into the malt. So I've got two possible outputs for that to des to send it wherever I want. Two possible places. Um, I haven't got any banana clips at the minute. Uh, banana, not clips. Uh, patch biz, patch. All I've got is these these little ones. I've got some bigger ones, but they're really faffy and annoying. Um, so yeah, and number four is the envelope. Uh, the next thing I wanted to make sure I had was a sequencer, and I was looking at all different kinds of sequencers and Turing machines and all just random, just long, just really long, unnecessary when I have an amazing sequencer from the Pro 2. Um, so right, let me go to, first of all, let's set the BPM. So our BPM, I'm going to set to 174 because drum and bass, just don't argue. Uh, we're also going to go down clock divide. It's got a clock divider in it why not um to eighth note uh and yeah turn the sequencer on uh sequencer mode i've got forward reverse ping pong and random um random i wanted a randomizer they, there you go sorted i also wanted a quantizer so it would play things in note like in scale um this way i can just pro play the notes that i want ready so i'm going to play just black keys for now just for the sake of it uh, and record this in ready Boop. 
So that's 16 notes there. Now I can play this. And it plays any of those black keys in a random manner for me. Uh, at the moment, like I said, The amplitude envelope controls also the filter. I don't want that to happen. I want the filter to be controlled by its own envelope. So, envelope four, remember, it's coming out here. I'm gonna plug that out into my CV. Turn the CV up, turn the filter down. Turn the resonance up. We're gonna go into this. See, look, I've got a mount for this. So like, I've basically got a, a VCA, like an amount, an attenuator for my envelope amount. I've got a delay so I can slow down how long it takes. I've got an envelope repeat, which is insane. But then I've also got a full ADSR for it. So ready? Go back to the repeat. So I get that sort of tremolo-y, um, what's that ratcheting sort of sound? Uh, if I don't want it to be that tremolo-y, I can come back, change the amount. That so gradually comes in hotter and hotter. Take it off repeat. I've got a delay function for it. Just it's a full envelope, something that I was looking at spending maybe two, three hundred quid on as a separate module. Don't need it. Not necessary. This is fine for me. Um, maybe I don't want it to be the em the envelope. I want to hold the notes longer. There we go. Nice. Pretty solid. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't want it to be the envelope. Maybe I want it to be an LFO. So we'll unpatch it from here patch it into the LFO instead. You see it already starts to do it because it's still running the tail of the output there. Uh, come to LFO 3. Now this again I was going to be spending 200 something something odd quid uh, on a couple of LFOs that were comprehensive um, but then more on slew limiters and all other stuff. Um, this one I've got a range of different waveforms I can choose. So I've got standards, triangle, saw, up and down, so a lot of ramp up, ramp down, uh, squares, thinner pulses to tiny pulses, and a random. But then let me just go to uh, the uh, ramp. Uh, I've got a timing for this. I've also got a sync for this. So right, let's put this on quarter notes, press play. Doesn't sound too good now, but I can wave reset it. It's pretty nice. pretty good at the minute we're just doing a sine wave remember there's nothing else uh, let's add in some of the second oscillator uh, so second oscillator we're going to come out saw plug that in second oscillator i've got pitched up to a let me turn down the fm um i've got pitched up a fifth it's not on you have to pitch that there we go Oscillator. Let's change the sine wave to a saw from the first oscillator. Let's bring some square in from oscillator one with some pulse width. Nice, right now let's change this a bit. Let's go amount. We've got the sync on, but I've got a slew rate. So what that's doing is it's smoothing over that even more. This is great for the random. Let's go back to this timing. Nice. 
Nice. So you can hear with the addition of the slew, I've got a random at a fast pace, which is being triggered every time a new uh, se sequence of step hits. But I've also smoothed it with a slew, uh, which again is just, it's just so much money when it comes to dealing with modules. Uh, let's press play again. So I can have this fully open, but send less of it. I can go reverse, negative. Me again. The camera, one of them, stopped working. Typical, innit? Right as I started to mess about with more. Basically what I ended up doing was instead of using the standard envelope, um, I was modulating the uh, envelope number two for filter two uh, and using that to control the filter of the life forms. And then using one of the extra tracks in the um, sequencer uh, to modulate the attack time of it. So it was all wavy um, and added delays and just stacked up some of the sounds with the pro. It was immense, but you can't see that because the camera stopped working. So yeah. Moral of the story, research. Just research, man. I was literally pressing like checkout, proceed to payment for about six or seven different modules in a case, uh, all of which were there inside the Pro 2. If you've got a Pro 2 or just look at the synths that you have, if they have any form of CV out and you're interested in getting into modular and you've already got some modular stuff, it's worth a shot, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It'll save you a few quid. Doesn't look as awesome. Do you know what I mean? It's just like 1950s call center patch switchboard. But still, happy new year. It's new Year's Eve today. 2020, New Year's Eve. Can't wait to see the back of this shit year. Uh, roll on 2021. Uh, like it's gonna be any different, let's be real. But yeah, I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm really happy about that. Little, just a little milestone. I wanted to hit a thousand by the end of the year uh, and I hit a thousand and two this morning on New Year's Eve. So yeah, it's pretty good. Nice round up to again, another shit year. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. People listening to me waffle about bollocks that no one else will bother listening to me about. My kid don't care. My wife don't care. Happy New Year. Many more videos next year. Uh, I'll invest in a better camera rather than my phone that runs out of battery. Sweet. Peace. <laughs>